hello everyone today i'm going to be making a wariro a wariro simply means steered beans and this time around it's steered beans in a type of stew just like many other nigerian recipes a wariro has its own variations as well but today i'm going to show you how i make mine so let's get started the first thing I do is to soak the beans for about 6 to 8 hours or overnight and this is believed to reduce the gas in the beans. If you don't like soaking your beans then it's a good idea to invest in a crock pot. That works as well. All you need to do is just pour the beans inside the crock pot and it's going to slowly cook your beans and in that way the gas in the beans is also reduced. So right now my beans has been soaking for 8 hours, I'm just going to be rinsing it out. At this point I'm going to be adding the beans inside the pot together with about 4 cups of water for a start. Then I'm going to be adding some diced onions together with 2 bay leaves. And I'm going to cover this and I'll leave it to cook until it's done. But it's definitely a good idea to check this in between the cooking time to make sure the water level is alright. If otherwise, feel free to add more water until the beans is very soft. Now the beans is done, as you can see, it's very soft. What I'm just going to do right now is to add a little bit of salt to this, then I'll stir it together. And that is it for the beans. Now to the second part. I'm going to be using one red bell pepper, one tomato, one onion, and one scotch bonnet. And I'm going to be blending this together with a little bit of water. Once that is done, I'm going to be setting it aside. As you can see, I've been preheating my palm oil in this pan. And once the oil is hot but not bleached, I'm going to be adding some diced onions. I'm going to stir fry this for a little bit until the onions become soft. And at this point, I'm going to be adding the blended pepper. Then I'm going to fry this until the sauce is reduced. This should take about 10 minutes to 15 minutes or thereabouts depending on the water content in the pepper and the intensity of the heat you are using to cook it. So once the water is well reduced, I'm just going to season this with a little bit of salt, one stock cube and about 2 tablespoons of crayfish. Then I'm going to mix this together thoroughly until all the ingredients are well blended together. At this point, I'm going to be adding the boiled beans. Now I'm going to stir this together until the beans is totally covered with the fried sauce. You can now adjust the seasoning at this point and if you feel the beans is too thick, feel free to add a little bit of water or a little bit of stock to loosen it up. Now cover this up and allow it to simmer for about 3 to 5 minutes. And that is it. This is how I often make my ewariru. But in addition to that, I have to say that sometimes if I don't have crayfish, I usually go for smoked turkey just to intensify the depth of flavor in the beans. And that is it. You can serve these beans with either gari or bread or plantains. It's totally up to you. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you shortly.